In the scriptures, Joseph, the loyal son to whom all the eleven tribes bow down, was attacked so that his brothers could steal his covenant coat. Covenant coats are very important. The Native Americans had their covenant coats stolen from them, and are grieving for the covenant to this day, as a perpetual remembrance, by going without traditional clothing during certain periods. For this they were called heathens. But who is heathen here? The Native Americans remembered, like Isaiah, the covenant coats and covenant shoes, which they called moccasins. Isaiah walked naked and barefoot three years years for a sign and wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia, the Native Americans are not heathens, they are remembering covenant. The Native Americans were attacked, tortured, and even slaughtered for their covenant codes. We are in Rome, and Rome attacks God's covenant people. Psychic predators are using hypnosis, psychic attack, and remote viewing against you throughout the day and at night. The military has kept methods of psychic attack top secret, but now there are books about it, including the military's method of remote viewing, which is connecting with you psychically to see what you see. This is the end of the thousand years tribulation, and Lucifer is still here. Predators are using hypnotism and the science of the mind against you daily. The Bible calls them demons. Practice psychic self-defense. Do not have sex. Do not eat meat. Read the Bible. Respect all life. Exorcise demons. This is Rome. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up, then continued with the conquest and genocide of Jews, Africans, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. The scriptures say, when Joseph said to his father, O oh my father, I saw eleven planets, and the sun, and the moon, I saw them bowing down to me, he said, O oh my son, do not relate your vision to your brothers, lest they plot and scheme against you. Satan is man's sworn enemy, and thus your Lord will choose you, and will teach you the interpretation of events, and will complete his blessing upon you and upon the family of Jacob, as he has completed it before upon your forefathers Abraham and Isaac. Your Lord is knowing and wise. This is April Shaltai's, using the computer to generate this message. Why am I generating this message? There is a hidden euthanasia, a silent genocide, just to amuse or please immoral people. This is April Shaltai's, and they tried to put me down. I'm a virgin, it's not really on purpose, I'm just not married, so they tried to put me down. You could be put down, too, and you may never even see it coming. This is April shall ties, and I am not happy, and will not be happy, until every demon is removed from the earth. Lucifer and his minions must be cast into the lake of hellfire and brimstone that ascends forever and ever. I pray daily for the Lord to destroy the destroyers. This is April shall ties, and I hate Rome. Rome is still here. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. Cast Rome out. This is April shall ties, and you've been tricked. A trinity is not one God in three, but a triumvirate. Straight from Rome, it's blasphemy. You'll immediately be breaking commandment number one, to put no gods before the one true God, the Lord God of Israel. Get set free from the terrible bondage. Tell Rome, take back your terrible trinity. You can't trick me with your triumvirate, Rome.